Oh my gosh, that is so pigmented. Hmm. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today we're talking all about lipsticks, specifically these new e.l.f. lipsticks. I just got sent them in PR. Apparently they're only $9 and apparently they're amazing. So we're gonna see for ourselves. I'm gonna be swatching all the shades that they sent me. Look how fun this PR box is. It's literally like a big lipstick. So these are their new O Face Satin Lipsticks. They launched this in 20 shades. It's supposed to have very intense pigment right away. It's supposed to be moisturizing with marula oil and the case is a nice matte velvet. It feels very luxurious actually. So like I said, they launched 20 shades, but in this box is Meredith Duxbury's 10 favorites, apparently. So that's what we're gonna try. I think it'll give us a good idea of at least half of the range, and then also we'll get a feel for the formula itself. So here are the 10 shades that they sent me. We've got a range of pinks, nudes, reds and even a purple and then a black lipstick, which is gonna be interesting to try. The packaging is a really nice soft matte. It just says elf on the side and then the rest is just bare. You have a nice lacquered component on the inside. And then look how pretty this is. It has elf stamped on the side, a nice angular tip. And this color looks really pretty as well. It doesn't really have a scent. Does it? No, not really, <laughs> okay. And the lid is magnetic. So really high quality like packaging, really gorgeous looking lipstick itself. Before we try them on, I am gonna swatch them for you on my arm so we can at least get a feel for the 10 shades. Wow, okay. Literally like two swipes and they're super pigmented. On my arm, it's looking a little bit more matte than satin, but we'll see once we apply it. Okay, so here are the 10 shades that they sent me swatched on my arm. From left to right, we have Feeling Myself, Dirty Talk, Effortless, these three look really nice, actually, I'm excited. We have No Doubt, Limitless, Vocal, No Regrets, Do Not Disturb, Untamed, and then the last one is All Night, which is the black shade. I will actually pop up the two pictures that e.l.f. has on their website of the entire range swatched on arms so that you guys can see and get a feel for the entire 20 lipstick shade range. Based off the swatches, I'm really excited to see how these wear. So we're gonna start off with Feeling Myself, which is this one right here. Okay, wow. You can see it really is like super pigmented on one swipe. So there's that one all over the lips. This one's like a really pretty kind of peachy color. It definitely is more of a satin finish, but it's not super shiny. Like it's almost in between a matte and a satin in my opinion, just based off of a lot of formulas that I've tried. It feels really comfortable. It's supposed to be very hydrating. It feels really nice on the lips, but there's the first shade. Next, we're gonna try this shade right here, which is called Dirty Talk. This one looks really pretty. Ooh, that one matches my lip color really nicely, actually. Ooh, I like that one a lot. This one's like a perfect everyday kind of pinky color. It's got a nice neutral undertone, so it will work with a lot of different looks. So again, this is Dirty Talk. Next, we'll be trying this shade right here called Effortless. Ooh, this one has a little bit more of a purple undertone. My lip lines are definitely not perfect on that. But here's the shade Effortless. Another one that I feel like is really nice. This is a color that I would call a wearable bold because it's not very common of a color. I feel like it looks a little bit different, but it's not so over the top or so uncomfortable of a color to where it like is distracting. It's a very wearable kind of a shade, but it's different enough to where I feel like when worn with a more simple makeup look, you would get a lot of compliments and it's something that people would notice. Really pretty, I like that one. Next, we're gonna be trying this nude color. This is called No Doubt. This is a lot more of a warm undertone. This would be really pretty paired with a deeper lip liner and like a bronzier kind of a makeup look. I feel like my makeup look is a little bit more cool tone today on the eyes anyway, but I could see a lot of people getting use out of a shade like this. So again, this is No Doubt. I just realized too, and I love how they have the color sticker on the bottom so that you can see it really easily since the packaging is all black. Sometimes I find that helpful when I'm either shopping for a lip color or trying to find a shade in my own collection. So just wanted to point that out. The next color I'm gonna try is called Limitless. This is another warmer tone. It's definitely more peach and it's kind of like a medium lipstick. I feel like these types of colors don't flatter myself personally, but it is a really pretty color. Just not something that I personally would reach for a lot. Next, we're gonna try the shade called Vocal. Ooh, this is a really unique color. This one's another warm undertone. This kind of has a little bit more of like a melon undertone to it, but still very peach as well. Really pigmented, really pretty. I would definitely wear this with more of a warm toned makeup look as well, but that one is really nice. I don't think I actually own anything quite like this. This is another kind of a wearable bold kind of a color. It's just not too over the top, but it's different enough to kind of be eye catching, which I like. 
Next up, I'm gonna be trying this shade, which is like a pinky toned red. This is called No Regrets. Yeah, the pigment is definitely there with these lipsticks. I normally would wear a red with a lip liner, so excuse my kind of sloppy lip lines. That's a really fun, bright red color. This is a statement for sure. I really, really like the slightly more pink undertone that this has. It makes it super vibrant on the lips. This one, again, is no regrets. Next, I'm gonna be trying on Do Not Disturb, which is another red. This is more of a true brick red. Oh my goodness, my lip lines on this are atrocious. <laughs> okay, that's a really pretty red. A lot more muted, a little bit more brown in this one, which I think is really pretty and really flattering. The formula is really comfortable. Like the more I build it up, the more cushiony it feels on the lips, which I think is really nice. The pigment is really there, but you can keep building it up and it doesn't skip or look patchy, which is really great too. All right, we have two more shades left. The last two are pretty bold. So the first one we're gonna try is Untamed, which is this purple. Ooh. Okay, this one went on a little bit patchier than some of the others. And that's usually the case with colors like this, but it's a really, really fun color regardless. Very bold. I'm not sure if it's something that I would wear all the time. Definitely a special occasion type of a lip color for me. So again, this is Untamed. And then the last one we have to try is the black lipstick, which should be interesting, of course. These kinds of colors are always the ones that stain my lips fuchsia for days. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> And last but not least, we're gonna try All Night, which is the black. Oh my gosh, that is so pigmented. Hmm, black lipstick. It always like baffles me every time I apply a super dark lip color or a black, because in many ways it's more wearable than you think. But then again, I'm like so practical and I feel like this would be fun for editorial looks or on camera or in photos, but in person, I don't think you would catch me in a black lipstick. I don't know. This is actually really, really pigmented, really comfortable, not patchy whatsoever. So, I mean, if you wanted to try a black lipstick, this is one of the best that I've tried, like in bullet form. What do you guys think? <laughs> so yeah, here's all night, all over the lips. I really do want to take what I feel like is my favorite shade and create a lip combo and see how it looks with lip liner. Cause I always wear my lipsticks with lip liner. Okay, let's wipe this off. Maybe I'm basic, but I just love my neutral shades. So I'm gonna line the lips with the Makeup by Mario lip liner in the shade Smoky Pink. And then I'm gonna take the shade Dirty Talk. I just feel like this is a color that even though it's a lot more practical and something we've maybe seen before, those are the colors I like. <laughs> so I'm just applying that all over. See, that one's so nice. I'm just taking my finger and pressing that in. It's so interesting as I personally feel like this is pulling a little bit more matte than satin. It's got a really velvety finish where a lot of my other satin lipsticks have a bit more of a sheen to them. This one has a slight sheen, but it's more of like a semi-satin lipstick, I would say. Still really comfortable. I like how it feels on the lips. Now that I've tried 10 of the shades, I have two shades only out of the 10 that I feel like are worth checking out. The first one being the one I'm wearing, Dirty Talk. I'm just, I'm a huge fan of colors like this. It's a really, really nice kind of mid-toned pink you know, I wonder if this is anything similar to Pillow Talk. It's called Dirty Talk. Maybe I'll go try to find Pillow Talk and swatch it so we can see. Okay, I'm back with Pillow Talk. Could it be a dupe? Mm, Pillow Talk's a little more peachy, but you're definitely gonna get a very similar vibe. So this is Pillow Talk, this is Dirty Talk. Dirty Talk has a little bit more, let me blend it out a bit. Now that I'm kind of blending them out, don't they look more similar? Wait a minute, <laughs> mm, are those dupes? They're so similar, but I do still feel like Dirty Talk is a little bit more brown than Pillow Talk, but very similar. So if you're looking for a very similar color to Pillow Talk, Dirty Talk seems to be super close. I don't know if it's an exact dupe, but it's very close. Okay, and then the other one is Effortless, which was that more kind of purple tone. This is a really fun color. Again, this is more of a wearable bold. It's hard to say. I'm gonna swatch the two next to each other so you can see the difference, but those were definitely my top two shades out of the 10 that I tried. I'm looking at the swatches to see if there's any other colors that I would be even interested in trying, and I really feel like out of the swatches, I actually would be the most interested in Dirty Talk and Effortless, which are the two that I already tried. So those are definitely, out of everything that I'm seeing, my top two shades out of even all 20, even though I haven't tried them all on. I feel like those are the two shades that I will get the most use out of. If I could only pick one, it has to be 
dirty talk. If you want to just try one, that's what I would recommend. So far, you guys, the formula feels really nice. Be sure to check the description box for a full kind of wear test note. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the night and see how it wears off and if it's still comfortable, if it stays feeling satin or dries down even more, feeling more matte. So be sure to check the description box for an update. For $9, I feel like this is really, really a nice high quality, high pigment lipstick. I feel like it's one that will work with a lot of different looks. It's something that you can just throw in your purse and use for every day, but also something that you could dress up a bit with a lip liner, which is nice. So I'm really happy about them. I think the packaging is really sleek and really nice. It reminds me a lot of the NARS lipstick packaging, actually. It feels very similar to that. So it's very luxurious. And for nine bucks, I feel like the formula so far is worth checking out. Um, I don't know if the shade range is my personal favorite. I would have loved to see more nudes, more cool tone nudes, but that's just me because I love like mobs and nudes and things like that. And it seems like there's a lot of reds in the range, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this formula and what you think. I feel like e.l.f. makes really high quality products for, you know, affordable prices, which is always so nice. It's crazy how $9 is now super affordable, where I feel like back in the day, e.l.f. lipsticks used to be like $1 or $2 or $3, you know? It's just crazy how expensive things have gotten anyway. But still, for $9, I do think these are worth checking out. Well, for $9 at least, the shade Dirty Talk, in my opinion, is worth checking out. It's really nice. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shade was that I tried on. I would love to hear from you guys. And let me know if there's other lipsticks that have launched recently that you would like to see me swatch. I love doing lip swatch videos, so just let me know in the comments. If you're new here, I would love for you to join the family, so don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you.